Jesus. when I moved to San Francisco, it was, you know, it was a party group. It was like Greg Barrett, um, Patton, Blaine, Brian Posehn, um, Laura Milligan, like all the people I hung out with, everybody was just serious. And then my friends um, that I lived with, we all just, that's all we wanted to do. It's my favorite thing in the world was a Budweiser tall boy, like after my shift at the Gap. At the Gap. <laughs> you know, when you really want to crack yeah. one open because you've just Post -gap. folded. Post-Gap, yeah. You folded so many sweaters that you've earned it. Um, so then I moved to LA and uh, I moved to LA when I was 24. So when I was 27, it was essentially like I'd just started having weird things. And I, so I've told you this story on some other podcast, but essentially I was like, I would fall down. Like we'd all be walking out of a bar and I would just fall down. And people would just be like, you're so klutzy or stop wearing those shoes or whatever. Um, but it was a blackout. It was, it was like I was just on the ground. But I never put it together because I was always super drunk. So I was just like, <laughs> I'm just, me and my severe alcoholism. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so then uh, it escalated to where I was waking up on the ground um, in the morning. In the morning? In the morning, I would wake up next to my bed. And I started waking up with bitten tongue and... Um, I also, one, I remember very clearly one night having a dream that I was a spinner dolphin, like coming up out of the water doing this. Uh, That's back which, to those flipper days. Yeah, yeah. for real. Mm -hmm. He was with me it always. All ties back. Flipper, flipper. Also best theme song. Had a good theme song. Really haunting, yeah. almost. A song by a dead child. Did you know that? No. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, is that not real? <laughs> nope, it's not real. <laughs> So, uh, uh, okay, so <laughs> then the one morning, we, it all took a turn when the one morning I woke up and my tongue was super bitten as usual, whatever. I'm all hungover, immediately light a camel light. Like, smoking, it's so crazy how common and like just everywhere smoking was. Back everywhere. Then. Everywhere. Everywhere. And I would smoke in this studio apartment. Like just sit up in bed with like a bed made of laundry, <laughs> dirty laundry, and just like sit up and smoke a cigarette. And I remember calling my friend and being like, God, my tongue is so bitten. It's so crazy. I'm bite biting my tongue in my sleep. And then I turn and look at the wall behind me next to the bed and there is a spray of blood across it, huge. And I am just sitting there and my friend's like, anyway, did you see that guy I was talking to last night? And I was just like frozen looking at this <laughs> fucking display of blood. And I was just like, uh-huh. And I just went and get a sponge and just washed it off the wall. What and do you think you did? You just bite and spray? What do you, is that what you yeah. think you do? Spit it all you, over the Yeah, when you have a seizure, you're just biting. You bite well, you're down You're having like seizures. That. Yeah. That's what was happening. Ah, that's what I the, think you did tell me before. It maybe you did, yeah. Yeah. So you, that's why you're waking up on the floor. You're, yes. you're coming. You're falling out of the. You were in the bed, or you never made it to the bed, or you don't know. Oh, sorry, because I'm combining this with drinking. But yeah, and that's why it was hard to like figure out in the beginning because I was always attributing it to being drunk. You're right. But I was seizing and falling on the floor, and the the. But was it related to alcohol? Well, they thought it was. Right. I mean, I'm sure it was because... I know a lot of people have drunk blackout and they don't have seizures. Well, but I also was taking the... Chantix. <laughs> <laughs> don't take if you're an alcoholic. Could cause blackouts and seizures. Um, Chantix will kill you. <laughs> but it, use it. It could, actually. Um, uh, no, no. It. I was taking... Uh, diet pills, Fen Fen, which was like the big thing in the 90s. I, I remember hearing how terrible that was. It was very, very bad, very bad for you. And I Tab. <laughs> you weren't supposed to drink Tab either, yeah. And certainly not in combination. No, God, no. Um, but I was taking it before it was Fen Fen when it was just the upper Fen. So Fen Fen was a cocktail of upper and downer because the upper was so fucking strong that they had to start um, prescribing a downer to go with it so that you weren't just like screaming at the top of your lungs all day. But I was there, I was an early adapter. So I was just there for plain old Fen. When it was, I was a lunatic every day. I mean, I never slept. 
I I never stopped talking. I was never not on the phone on like the cordless the cordless phone at the kitchen table, like yeah. fucking rolling calls and being like, rolling where's your show tonight? Up. Then we're going to meet at El Compadre. <laughs> da, 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 dinner and drinks at six. Like every day. Yeah. Calling everybody to let everybody know what the plan was. And I just kind of backed that right up to having these experiences where I was like dropping and I was like, these crazy platform shoes, I have to stop wearing them. Everything I could kind of explain away of why it was happening. So then like the spinner dolphin thing later on, I was like, Oh, that's because I was just flipping circles in bed, essentially. I see. Um, and landing on the floor and the biting. So once that... So just from, not just, but from the biting and then the seizing, you're spraying the wall. Oh, my God. Mul multiple sprays. Oh, my God. It was, it was one of the most disturbing things that I kept to myself. I was just like, well... Now it's an Instagram story. Yeah. <laughs> now, now I would I would already have a film deal if <laughs> yeah, it was fucking would. these days. You You're would. like, um, so I just wiped it off the wall and didn't say anything, and basically then started having what my aura is, which is the beginning of how you know you're about to have a seizure. Is my eyes start looking up to the left like that? This goes back to your being blind days. <laughs> See, it all ties back. Is this God punishing me <laughs> for mocking the blind? Well, I would like to say imitating the blind. Imitating. Not You're mocking, imitating. but definitely trying to steal some of their thunder for sure. Um, and you would feel that? You would feel the look up to the left, you said? Yeah, because I wasn't choosing to do it. They, it was just happening. So it was suddenly like as and, if you were real interested about what was happening over there. But Right. And how long between that looking up and you blacking out do you even know? Do you have enough time to sit down? Do you have enough time yes. to? So it's usually that would be the indicator that like something's going on. And then but i never had seizures um unless i was in bed so i had them they were like they would brought on by sleep and like changing me um i don't know rem mm -hmm. whatever situation was in my head i'm not a doctor and i've never said i was you did you um, not once said that. <laughs> but essentially it was that so mine would always i would get auras and then nothing would happen i'd be like that's weird that i'm looking around against my own will and then just not deal with it um until uh, my friend stayed with me one night and it was this studio apartment. So she was sleeping on my couch and I was on my bed four feet away over here. Um, and she thought she woke up because she thought I was choking to death. And she flipped uh. on the lights and I was having a seizure and my lips were blue. And I was just like out completely out and not Still breathing. Still holding a cigarette. <laughs> 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 Trying to smoke, biting off the filter. <laughs> Holding it up real high away from my... Holding it away. away I've from set my... beds on fire before, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, believe me, this is a dangerous situation. <laughs> um, yeah, so so I was having grand mal seizure. And that's what had been happening, but I was alone, so I didn't know. So the, for the first time, somebody was actually there. So she called 911. And I know I've told you the story, because this is a story where I wake up, I went to bed, and I could feel the eye thing happening. And I'd got, it, I went to bed really late, but I hadn't drunk that night. I'd gotten into a fight with the guy that I was dating and I just left Largo and didn't say goodbye to anybody and just was like, oh, fuck you and fuck you and left. <laughs> went to bed. As I was like falling asleep, I could feel the eye pull thing, but it wouldn't stop. And it was pulling really hard. And then I could feel my head going. And then I just thought to myself, this is bad calm down and wait it out because I could tell something really bad was about to happen. And then the pulling was really intense and then I just was blacked out. The next thing I knew, I was sitting up in bed and there was two insanely hot LAPD, LAFD firemen sitting on my bed with me. And I was only wearing a Dodgers t-shirt. And they were like, hi, do you know your name? And I was like, it's Karen Kilgariff. And they're like, do you know what day it is? And my, my joke always is that I was like, is it hot fireman day? <laughs> <laughs> Literally just like thighs out. It was horrifying. Got my Fernando Valenzuela jersey on, guys. <laughs> hey, do you guys like baseball or anything? It was, I wanted to die. Also, this apartment was like, it was just like one big litter box. It was just awful. There was like a cat. Everything about my life was a fucking like, white flag someone please help me um so 
basically they were like, you're fine. And you, you probably don't want to have to pay for an ambulance ride. Tripped over 27 Keystone coming in. <laughs> but other than that, you're okay. But you're fine. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. You're fine in this moment. You had a party here? <laughs> no, I live by myself. No, it's always a party with me. <laughs> uh, so for, um, yeah, so my friend basically drove me to Cedar sinai They found out I didn't have insurance. And they were like, thanks so much. Why don't you head on down to UCLA? UCLA Just Harbor. You? Oh yeah. Wow. Um, booted me to the Chantics of Hospice. <laughs> For real? Have yeah. you been there? I have been there. It is tough. Yeah. I was in a room with five other people. No, I haven't seen anything like that. Yeah, it was it was almost like how they set up emergency rooms where everyone just has the curtain around them. Right. I, I had there was five other people. This woman in the corner was dying of cancer. She was like it was her last days, oh. and her family just stood around her crying all day and night. Then there was a lady across from me that every once in a while that curtain would be open and we'd just be like. That weird stare. What are we doing? I, yeah. I was just like, what am I doing? My mom showed up and she was like, I didn't remember her being there at first. And then like the first morning I woke up in the Harbor Hospital, she was just sitting next to me like, like what the fuck? Cigarette, right? There. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> cigarette attitude, the Benson and Hedges stare. Benson and Hedges, yeah. Weren't those the thin ones? No, those are, I think you're thinking like Virginia Slims. Maybe, yeah. Benson and Hedges were the really long ones. That's it, long. If green, you had really they good green nails. pack or something. I feel like one of my friend's mom smoked those. Yes, they were. The Always pack lipstick was like, on the end of that yes, thing. Yes, yeah. iridescent brown, tannish green. Oh, tan, okay. Yeah, yeah green. Tan, I remember a green in there. Yeah. Well, she might have smoked menthols. You might be on to something. <laughs> so she was there super bummed out, of course, just of like what? What are you doing? What have you been doing? Like, what is this? I remember she actually took me in to take a shower one day, like, cause I was there for four days. So second day she was like, you need to take a shower. And I got in the shower and then she saw my, I have a tattoo of a salmon on my back that I got when I was completely shit face drunk, insisted. And then the next day was just like, what's this about? Like, <laughs> what's this story for? I like never wanted, I don't care about salmon in any <laughs> meaningful not way, a not a fisher, <laughs> not don't even like to eat it. But I ha sure do have a tattoo of it on my lower back. Um, and my mom saw it and goes, we're not gonna tell your father about the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> she was just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And that's when I stopped drinking.